Good evening. I'm Janet Chandler with the Coleman Tribune, and I'm glad to be here reading you the last story from the Berenstain Bears, Stories of Family and Friendship. Tonight we're going to read The Berenstain Bears and Baby Makes Five. When a brand new cub makes its big entrance, it often takes a while to get complete acceptance. Big news in bear country. The bear family, who lives in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road, has a new member, a baby girl named Honey. What fun, what excitement, what a nuisance. Sometimes it seemed that it was crying, feeding, burping, spitting up, and diapering around the clock. And when it wasn't those things, it was cuddling, dandling, fussing, and kitschkooing. And when it wasn't those things, it was shopping, shopping, and more shopping for things that were needed for the new baby. At least that's how it seemed to Sister Bear. Brother Bear understood that babies need a lot of attention. He'd been through it before when Sister was born. But having a new baby in the house was a new experience for Sister, and she wasn't enjoying it very much. It didn't help when Papa came home from work every day. The first thing he did was pick up the ba new baby, make goo-goo eyes, and say, how's my darling little dumpling? Dumpling, good name for her, thought sister, a fat little dough ball that was hard to swallow. It didn't help at all when Aunt Man and Uncle Louie visited and made a big fuss over the new baby. Well, sis, said Uncle Louie, I guess you're not the big star around here anymore. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 indeed. It wasn't just Aunt Min and Uncle Louie. It was as if every bear for miles around came to admire the new baby and say how cute she was. So cute, said Mrs. Griddle. Cute as a button, said Farmer Ben. Cute as a bug, said Mrs. Bruin. Yeah, snapped Sister under her breath, a stink bug. Sister had a point about the new baby being a stink bug. While she couldn't do much, she sure was good at wetting and filling diapers. Sister dear, said Mama one day when she was attending to the baby, it's not very polite to say pee hoo every time you come near the baby. Meanwhile, would you do me a favor and slosh this around before you throw it out? Pee hoo And the fuss they made when the baby did the least little thing. Get out the tape recorder. The baby said, goo. Get out the video cam. The baby is smiling. Call the newspapers. The baby laughed out loud. It was easy to see that sister was getting grumpier and grumpier. At least it would have been easy to see if mama and, poppy had, mama and papa hadn't been so busy with the new baby. But since babies can't do much for themselves, they do need a lot of care and attention. Brother needed a lot of care and attention when he was a baby. So did sister. That's the way it is with babies. It takes mother and father bluebird practically all day digging worms to feed their wide-mouthed babies. Mother fox works from dawn to dusk to care for and protect her kids. Mother kangaroo carries her joey around in her big pouch until it's big enough to do proper kangaroo jumps. Brother could tell that sister was seriously out of sorts. She was even angry at her dolls because they reminded her of the new baby. But he had problems of his own this time, like long division and multipl multiplication tables. Speaking of school, it was an assignment sister brought home from school that told mama that sister wasn't exactly thrilled about the baby. Teacher Jane had asked each cub in the class to draw a picture of his or her family. Sister liked to draw. She was a very good artist. This is what the picture looked like. When Mama saw it, she knew there was trouble afoot. Dear, she asked, why didn't you put your new baby sister in the picture? Because, snarled sister, there wasn't enough room on the paper. And then she stomped up the stairs, went into her room and slammed the door. Oh dear. That evening after the new baby was asleep, Mama had an idea. I know what, she said. Let's look at our video cam movies. Let's not and say we did, said Sister, thinking they would be the latest new baby videos. 
but she couldn't have been more wrong. While that's what they looked like, that's not what they were. They were videos that Mama and Papa had taken of Sister when she was a baby. They showed Papa playing kitschy coo with her. They showed her smiling, laughing, and saying goo. They showed her jumping up and down in her jumping jack. They showed her doing all the things her new baby sister was doing. Will you excuse me a minute, Sister said when the last video had ended. I suppose so, said Mama as she watched Sister scurry up the stairs and into her room. What do you think, asked Mama. I think we better go see what she's up to, said Papa. Mama, Papa, and Brother sneaked up the stairs to see what Sister was up to. What she was up to was drawing another picture of the Bear family. This is what it looked like. My family, Mama, Papa, Brother, Sister, Honey. Mama, Papa, and Brother breathed a sigh of relief. It's just about bedtime, dear, said Mama. We may as well start getting ready for bed. Mama, said Sister, could we take a peek at the baby first? I don't see why not, said Mama. The Bear fa family tiptoed very quietly into the baby's room. Sister peeked through the bars of the crib at her sleeping baby sister. You know something, she whispered. She is kind of cute. The end. Thank you. Have a good night and sweet dreams.